Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting again to episode 4 of season 3 of Lay Back Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The potato chips. What is that title? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was sweet. <clears throat> I mean, weren't they going to be there like until the evening? So they probably haven't crossed yet.
Kirby, why didn't you bring a flashlight? Yeah, but you have to live forward! <gasps> the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> baby At the end of the day, always doing it for food.
too. Right? <laughs> She was waiting her whole life to say it like that. <laughs> right? That's why we don't really use Google Maps all the time. We either use, like, your maps on your iPhone or um, that one map thing that my mom uses. I don't remember her name. Rin. <laughs>
Rain, I don't know about this. Grand writers. <laughs> Okay, be careful. Right? So we got to do this. Let's not talk about that again. <laughs> right? Screw the take of the picture. We're already halfway! Thank God. And no one died. See, right there? That that would be my reason to go back. It said, beware of bears. Bears! Nah. We'd be done. We'd be like, mm -mm, let's go home. I'm like, let's just get to the damn campsite. I can't do it anymore. Huh.
Yeah, after the day you two had, you definitely need it. Honestly, yeah. Okay, so we're not really seeing these three together until next Thursday. That's okay, though. And once again, as I said last week, it's going to be worth it. But, <laughs> for me and the text messages, I'm going to see the ball in <laughs> Those two, like, what the heck is this girl talking about? But no, oh, okay. Crossing the bridge that has the other sign of a limit of 15 people and how narrow it is, oh my god, I'd be so freaking afraid. I'd just be like, look, let me just look down and then also look at the other side so that I know, like, I am getting closer and closer to it. I, I couldn't do it. I'd be super freaking scared. And then, of course, you finally get to the other side and then you see the this little small sign. Because that was a small sign. There was no huge sign or anything. Just a small, normal behind sign of beware of bears. Let me say this. Okay. A couple, not even a couple years ago. About, oh God, what was this? 2006, maybe, when this show came out? So I used to watch like a lot of MTV growing up and such. I think almost like every... A teenager or adult my age who was a teenager also did watch MTV before, you know. <laughs> MTV was doing all day ridiculousness. Oh. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so as I was saying, so before, as of now, when MTV is doing their all-day somewhat marathon of ridiculousness, they used to have, like, really good shows that were airing at the time. And there was this one show called, I think it was Room 401. It was supposed to be, like, a horror version of Punked and such. Um, and everything. And so there was this one episode where literally it was a group of people and they're, they're going in the woods, right? Of course. So you know how there's supposed to be a sign, just like the sign was there in this episode. Well, this sign was high up on this big behind log, like at the top, that they were using sources for light for. It's like a light fixture. But it was this small behind, like medium-sized sign that you barely, if you really weren't paying attention, you probably were not looking at it. So when I watched this episode with my mom, because I, I rewatched it twice, I watched it once by myself and then I watched it with my mom. Um, and my mom was like, they ain't see that. And I was like, well, mom, if they're looking straight ahead, but yeah, they're looking, you know, outside, they probably maybe, but at the same time, no. But the sign said, beware of bears, mountain lions and something else. Now, once I see that sign, I don't need to really be here anymore. I'm going home. I have no reason to be here anymore. That's like, okay, living in Nebraska and stuff. Um, I think the biggest thing I had to worry about in Nebraska was, I, I really don't remember. There was a trail that, like, you know, <clears throat> I went to, I think, in elementary school. And the only thing, and maybe the only other thing that we had to worry about was 
probably get like a lion, a mountain lion or some shit. I don't know. It was in the middle of dead fucking Nebraska. So yeah, Omaha. So it was like, you never know what could have popped out. I know the biggest thing was also deers and skunks and everything. But no, still, you always want to be mindful no matter what you do. That's why once again, I'm not going camping. <laughs> they, they, they said and I'm still not going and such. Now, I mean... As I've talked about this before, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll camp in the RV or I'll camp in the hotel room. I am so fine with that. Like, no. I, I like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll experience the wilderness for a good couple of hours until the sun goes down. And then after that, I'm on my way to the hotel. And then I'll pick you up the next morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but those two going across that bridge, like, oh, my God, I'm getting major anxiety. We're like, <laughs> No, mm -mm. no, 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 no. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode four of season three of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the magic one, of course. I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.